Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, The Current Affairs Audiobooks. This channel has been created to provide updated info about various current affairs issues. So if you like the content, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to notify you when I post new content. Hello friends, in the series of discussions on international relations, today we will have a look at the Indo-UAE relations with specific reference to the Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement recently signed between the two nations. India and the UAE signed the Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement, also known as SEPA, on 18th February 2002. This agreement is set to come into force with effect from 1st May 2022 and it would allow 90% of India's exports a duty-free access to the UAE. The UAE is currently India's third largest trading partner and the two countries have a bilateral trade of $60 billion. This complete and comprehensive agreement was completed in the shortest possible time. India has been negotiating similar free trade agreements with other countries also. India's approach towards free trade areas is focused towards gaining market access and helping Indian industries integrate in global value chain. Coming on to the significance of the SEPA. The SEPA enables two-way investment flows and helps achieve higher export targets. It is aimed at boosting the trade in the next five years from $60 billion dollars $200 billion. India is negotiating currently with six countries or regions. The implementation of SEPA will benefit approximately $26 billion worth of Indian products which are currently subject to 5% import duty in the UAE. India will benefit from gaining preferential market access provided by the UAE on over 90% of its products which totally account for 99% of Indian exports. In terms of value, India will be offering preferential access for approximately 90% of tariff line of products of the UAE which are being imported. The pharma sector which exports approximately $250 million worth of goods can see a sharp increase due to the decision on establishment of a separate annex on pharmaceuticals. India has offered market access in around 100 subsectors while Indian service providers will have access to around 111 subsectors. Both the countries have declared establishing a joint hydrogen task force with special focus on green hydrogen. For the first time, India will be setting up an overseas IIT in the UAE. The UAE looks at mitigating its food security concern through the Food Security Corridor Initiative. The plastic industry is expected to get a boost since the UAE imports only about $400 million worth of Indian plastics vis-a-vis -vis its requirement of $9 billion. Let us have a brief analysis of the SEPA Act. The key factors behind India's interest in the UAE are the bilateral trade ties of approximately $60 billion, the energy and oil supplies, the welfare of approximately 2.6 million Indians who are settled in the UAE and defense and security. The SEPA agreement is anchored in a broader regional framework primarily aimed at expanding markets amongst the nations of the GCC. The GCC is a major destination for Indian investment and India is now looking for the GCC to participate in its planned infrastructure expansion. The GCC has also expressed interest in Indian human resources to develop sectors like IT, construction, services, transportation. Overall, the implementation of the SEPA agreement is expected to generate 10 lakh jobs in India. To conclude, the SEPA agreement is a landmark agreement since this is the first time the UAE has entered into such an agreement with any foreign country and this is India's first free trade agreement in over a decade. However, to maximize the gains from the SEPA, the two countries need to enhance the global value chain part. The top product line have not changed from 2018 to 20 and trade is currently being conducted only on common product lines on top rated products. India is currently in a position to emerge as a credible economic and security partner of the UAE and other Gulf Cooperation Council countries. With this, we have come to the end of our discussion on Indo-UAE relations. Please do let me know if you would like to know more about current affairs topics in the comment section. If you like the content, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. All the best. Jai Hind.